my hand at a vlog okay now let me just say I want to preface this with my life is very boring okay um and I don't say that like I don't feel bad about that like it's just boring it is and I'm okay with that but I have really been into watching vlogs lately and I think probably just because it's vlogmas like it's that season so they're everywhere but I have been loving vlogs from like much smaller creators like a lot of the really small creators that I watch do vlogs and I've just been loving watching them like they're just very real and genuine and they don't live in million dollar houses and it's just like real life shit and I like watching that so we're gonna try it okay it's Wednesday morning I just got home from taking the kids to school. I am on my second cup of coffee. And this is usually my routine. I just kind of come home and I get to enjoy the quiet of the house all to myself. And I'm just kind of deciding what I want to have for breakfast, okay? Important things. Look, I know you're probably observing my background, the wall behind me. So I know, I know that it looks like shit. I know. But so when we bought this house about four years ago, the woman that lived here, she loved her some wallpaper. Okay. She loved her some wallpaper. So we started to take the wallpaper off a couple years ago and we were like, oh, this will be easy. Well, every layer that we took off revealed another layer of wallpaper. So there are literally like four or five layers of wallpaper that we've gone through. There's wallpaper in the bathroom. So the bathroom walls are kind of torn apart, but it is what it is. It doesn't even bother me anymore at this point. Like it's just, <laughs> We just have to decide what we want to do with it. I don't know if I want to paint it or if I want to actually put more wallpaper over it because I think they have some really cool and some really pretty wallpaper these days. That's it. I'm just, I know that this might be annoying. I just kind of wanted to sit in some natural light and I love the light in my kitchen. But yeah just deciding what I want for breakfast. Um, it's kind of a chilly morning here. I think it's only supposed to be 50 degrees for the high. Um, so I'm kind of thinking maybe like a, there, I guess I could move the window um, or the blinds. I was kind of thinking maybe like a, a warm bowl of oatmeal might be really comforting but I'm kind of craving like something savory. I want like some eggs and bacon and something. Uh. So let me tell you, here's my issue or my concern with vlogging, right? So a lot of people that vlog, um, like YouTube is their job. So, which is cool, great. Um, YouTube is not my job, it is, <laughs> not my job at all I don't get paid for any of this um so I work eight hours a day like I and it's not like I'm on the phone so I'm either sitting at my desk or maybe I'm standing at my desk just talking to people on the phone for eight hours so it's like that's a good chunk of the day 
where you're just probably not gonna, nobody is interested in that. Nobody wants to see that. So I don't know. I thought we could vlog a little bit this morning. I actually do have an errand that I need to run, like I really need to run. So let's do that. Let me drink my coffee. I will kind of show you what I end up deciding to eat for breakfast once I make that choice and we can at least run an errand together. That might be fun. So I don't know. I'll see you in like a little bit. <sighs> Okay, so I decided to go with a savory breakfast, y'all. This is something that I eat all the time, all the time, and I have been eating it for years. So it's called migas, and it's, it's something that I learned about and I started eating when I was on Weight Watchers a couple years ago. Um, I will like write more about it in the description box of this video, but it is, I'm pretty sure it's like a traditional um, Mexican. I don't know if it was meant to be breakfast or if it was meant to be kind of like a dessert thing, but this woman that I followed on Instagram, she made like a breakfast migas. Uh, but basically what it is, is I use these almond flour tortillas. I got these from Costco, it's a 20 pack, but I can find these at Target too. They are paleo, they're non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and vegan. Uh, but look, they're actually delicious and they crisp up so nicely. So what I'll do, I usually take anywhere between like two and three of these and I just cut them up into like little squares. I get some oil really, really hot in a pan, I throw them in, let them crisp up, and then I just put in you can use whole eggs. I prefer egg whites, but there's not a whole lot left in here, so I may end up using these eggs. Mix everything together, throw in. I don't normally eat cheese, but I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling it this morning. I'm going to use a very, very small amount of cheese. And then I have my turkey bacon thawing in the sink. Um, this Aldi brand of turkey bacon is my absolute favorite. This or sometimes I eat like the Butterball brand. But I just like how thinly sliced it is. I have bought the turkey bacon from Costco before, but it's super thick. It's like, it's hella thick. And my kids don't care for that. So whatever. I could eat either, but I do really enjoy this. So I'll probably have like four slices of turkey bacon to go with that. But I think this actually is thawed now. So um, yeah, I will kind of try to set up and show you the whole process. You guys, this is truly the best breakfast and salsa on eggs is boss shit. It's so good. I love salsa, ketchup, hot sauce. Hot sauce is like definitely third, but mm. I don't normally use three tortillas. I normally just do two, but I'm so hungry this morning. So I did three. I made more turkey bacon than what I thought I was going to, but my husband will eat some when he gets home. So no worries. You got your protein, your carbs, your fat, just a well-rounded breakfast, you know? Oh. I could honestly probably eat this every day. I didn't tell you guys the errand that I need to run. So the office that I used to work out of is officially closing. It's officially closing um, as of Friday. So 
we have to go in prior to Friday and get all of our stuff that's still at our desk. Because, you know, we didn't take all of our stuff home with us in March of 2020 because we were only supposed to be home for, what, like two weeks. Well, we all know how that went. So, yeah, they are officially closing our office. And I know that I still have a bunch of, like, pictures. Um, I have books and stuff at my work cubby. So I really, really need to go pick that stuff up. So I'm going to do that today. That's going to be my quick little errand before I have to start work. So I'm going to focus, get this eaten, get dressed, and we'll head out. Okay, here's the fit, as they say, and my bathroom walls that are torn apart. See? Awesome. Uh, this is what I'm rocking to the office, you guys. I don't even give a shit. I, <laughs> I got this from American Eagle, Target, Target, and my shoes. My daughter told me that I got the mom Converse, whatever the fuck that means. I don't care. They're comfortable. It is what it is. This is what I'm wearing. It's freezing, so I'm just going to throw a coat on and be out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so weird to be back here. It's actually like, I'm having a very unexpected, like emotional reaction to it. It's just bizarre. It's just kind of like a very concrete uh, reminder of how different things are in the world and how different things are going to be moving forward. Um. But let me get this taken care of. It actually, there's nobody in here. It's so weird. This, uh, oh my God. Did I tell you I am wholeheartedly trying to bring like the side ponytail back? What do you think? Can it be revived? Um, oh, it's so sad in here. Um, it actually took me a minute to even remember where my desk was. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Okay, I don't actually have as much stuff here as I thought, but let's, let's get it gone. Okay. Just left my office. Well, technically I'm just leaving the gas station, but I just packed up all my stuff at my office. I am chewing gum. I know that's rude. Sorry. Um, that was super weird, you guys. It really was. And look, I know, I fully realize how corny this is gonna sound before I say it, but I am, really really gonna miss that office I am I mean as far as office spaces go if you've got to be in an office for eight nine hours a day like that one was just so bomb it was so bomb I, I really liked people that I worked with mm, I don't know it's just sad it's just sad like realizing you're probably never <laughs> Never gonna see people again. Never gonna be back uh, in that space. That office actually had like an amazing gym. I wish I could have shown you. I actually tried to get in with my badge, but it didn't work. I think they're like purposely keeping people out of the gym, but they just built the new gym and it just opened like, I think early 2019. So it had only been open 
for barely a year before they had to close stuff down, but just sad. It's just sad, okay? I know that that's, I know I sound like a cornball, but I really, really am gonna miss that office. So anyway, I have all my stuff. I am, I think I'm just headed home. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need anywhere else I need to stop before I go home. Um, let me think. I'll either see you at home or I will see you at the grocery store momentarily. Okay. Well, I did end up stopping by the grocery store because there were, actually as I started thinking about it, like quite a few things that I needed, we needed. Um, <laughs> but I got a new card in the mail and stupid me, like I was just thinking, okay, cool. This card is good to go. I don't need to activate it. Well, get, I get up there to pay and of course it's like declined. So they had to like suspend my order and I had to call and activate it. And even then they like had to have me, I had to like text them, yes, that it was me trying to make this purchase at Aldi. I mean, I guess I can appreciate like that safety feature, but oh my gosh, like, I mean, when stuff like that happens, it's just like, it's just annoying, you know? And I'm in there like, it was so busy. I mean, if you've ever been to Aldi, like you just, you know, you know how busy they get, you know how busy, their registers get so I'm like in there trying to call and get my card activated and the lines backing up and I'm like fucking sweating my ass off in this coat anyway not a crisis okay not the end of the world we got our groceries and I guess I'm gonna go home and show you what I got like does anybody give a shit look I personally I love watching grocery hauls like I love it so I'm gonna subject you to it okay okay so my Aldi haul everything actually fit on my little island here I'm just gonna really quick show you what I got in case you are interested all of this was just about a hundred bucks maybe a little bit it was like 108 uh, 110 something like that I don't remember but um, let's just get into it. I got um, a couple drinks. I love cold brew. I normally get the stock brand that they have, but they didn't have the plain stock. They had like pumpkin spice or something and it had a shitload of added sugars in it. And I am really, really trying to be conscious of keeping my added sugars to like an absolute bare minimum. I just have found that that has, it just has a huge effect on my body and how I feel. So uh, anyway, <laughs> you don't care. I got some unsweetened almond milk. I like to buy my almond milk at Costco, but I totally forgot when I was there a few days ago. So whatever, I just grabbed this. I got some bananas. Everybody in my house loves bananas. Some marshmallows. Um, my five-year-old is obsessed with marshmallows. Um, some sweet potatoes. Love sweet potatoes and I have been craving them lately. And my daughter loves cucumbers. It's like her favorite snack. She eats cucumbers with zesty Italian ranch. I mean, Jesus, Italian ranch. What the hell does that even mean? Zesty Italian. Ah, zesty Italian dressing. I got some pomegranates. Um, my daughter has also been asking for these. Um, I think I might eat one myself. I love pomegranates. Um, I have no idea how to tell if they're ripe or not. Like these are super soft. I don't know if they're supposed to feel that way or what, but needed some more blueberries. Um, blueberries are actually something that I prefer to buy at Aldi or like a regular grocery store instead of Costco because Costco, like, it's just so big. It's Their blueberries are like three times the size of this and we just don't go through them. You know, I mean, my five-year-old really likes them, but 
he's so fickle. Like he'll eat them one day and then not the next. And anyway, got some mangoes, some pre-sliced mangoes. Um, my husband loves these. Like these are one of his favorite snacks. So I got a couple of those. Um, baby carrots. Me and my husband both love these. They're a great snack. I love all these naan bread. They sell the mini naan and they also sell like the big flatbread naan. These, um, I don't know why, it's just like a mental thing. I like these a little bit better. I actually um, make little pizzas on these. And these do have, there's one gram of added sugar in one naan. So, you know, it's not about being perfect. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to make little changes. So I've uh, got some spinach. I love spinach for salads. Have to refill the goldfish container here. Kids love the extra cheddar flavor. Re-upped on the salsa. This Aldi brand Casa Mamita salsa is our favorite. Um, also repurchased just kind of a bunch of staple canned goods that I like to have. All of this stuff is essential for um, a white chicken chili that I like to make, my regular chili. Um, so yeah, I just got some whole kernel sweet corn, great northern beans, diced tomatoes are just, again, always something I like to have on hand. Some chili beans, black beans. Back behind there, I have my favorite hummus, the olive hummus. I have some really yummy pita chips, some big crunchy pita chips that I got from Costco that like this and carrots and some pita chips are such a good snack. This is even really good with like the naan bread. If you pop the naan bread like in the toaster for a little bit, get a little bit warm, spread some hummus on there. Oh, so good. Um, this is my favorite deli meat, the smoked honey turkey breast, um, no nitrates, gluten-free, uh, there is no sugars or anything, so I really enjoy this brand. I actually sometimes will just grab a slice or two of this and eat it on its own. Um, what else did I get? I picked up several turkey pepperonis. My Aldi has been out of turkey pepperoni for the longest time. And they only had about six bags today. So I grabbed half of them. My daughter loves just snacking on these. And I actually love putting these on my non-bread pizzas. I think turkey pepperoni actually tastes better than regular pepperoni. Uh, that's just my opinion. It doesn't feel as like heavy and greasy. But it still has a really good pepperoni flavor. Some chili seasoning. I think I am going to make some chili uh, either in the next few days or this weekend. I have no idea why I bought these, you guys. They were just like right in the front when I walked in. They're fresh energy date coconut rolls with almonds. Now they are gluten free, non GMO. Um, I'm also kind of making a concerted effort to be as gluten free as possible. Moving forward, that's another thing that I've noticed um, has really affected how I feel um, just as far as like being bloated and like lethargic and all that type of stuff. So I don't know. There's a ton in here and I don't know if I'm even going to like them, but they had no added sugars. And I actually really do. I love dates. I love coconut. So I don't know. We're going to give it a whirl. Got, this is my favorite cheese from Aldi, the non-GMO organic Simply Nature mozzarella. I use that on my little pizzas. Some uh, organic spaghetti. That's, again, just kind of something I like to have on hand. I like to have a couple pastas on hand. My daughter and my husband both like to throw pasta together when they're hungry sometimes. I got these for my husband. He also likes to snack on those. My daughter has really been like in a cereal mood. She loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. She wanted Captain Crunch, but of course, you know, she gets the the Aldi knockoff. She gets Kids Crunch. Uh, my son and my husband love vanilla wafers to snack on. My husband and my daughter love these. Uh, they really only like the apple flavor. 
I've gotten other flavors and they just are not as big of a hit. Now these I saw, and I wanna try these for myself. I've never seen these before. So they're dairy-free, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. They're by the brand Elevation. I have tried bars from this brand before, but I've never seen these. So these are pure and simple apple pie fruit and nut bars. They only have seven ingredients and they actually don't look half bad. So 200 calories per bar, no added sugars again. So I'm going to try those. Sometimes I like having just like quick stuff like that to grab for a snack. This was a total impulse buy. My, I'm just going to put this in my son's stocking. He's been obsessed with slime lately. I was like just a few bucks. I told you we love our Aldi turkey bacon. So I re-upped on a couple of those. And then, oh man, look at how smashed all those are. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't notice that. Um, I guess I'll have to see what these look like when I open it up. So they're gluten-free spinach wraps. Um, I do actually really like spinach wraps. I like wraps in general. I love wraps for breakfast. I was thinking I could throw like some eggs, some bacon, some salsa, some spinach in a wrap. I could even do like a lunch wrap with this and some of the hummus and turkey. But anyway, that's it. That is everything I got. I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and it's getting close to the time for me to start work. So I will see you when I see you. Okay, I just kinda wanted to show you guys my workspace here. I mean, technically like this is my office. I'm just in our basement. Uh, this is also my daughter's bedroom back there, but I have lately been just kind of turning this lamp on, leaving the overhead lights off, having our Christmas tree on. I don't know. I just think it sets quite a a little relaxing mood here for work. But yeah, this is where I work. Um, I can't like show you too much of my workspace because I I have a bunch of like client and customer information and you know HIPAA stuff I'm a nurse so I can't show you too much but I am I always like to have a little snack let me grab it this is one of my favorite snacks um, these are apple cinnamon rice cakes so good um, they do have three grams of added sugar per rice cake so like I said I'm not trying to be perfect. I have peanut butter. It's no sugar added peanut butter. And then I slice up a banana on top. It's so good and so filling. And it does actually kind of satisfy my sweet tooth. So I am about to sit down for work, you guys. Um... morning uh it is actually thursday now i did not close out the vlog last night because i was just so tired i was so tired when i got done working um i actually i was gonna stay up and wrap some stocking stuffer stuff but i just couldn't i was so tired i went to bed so early um i am up early still in my robe enjoying my coffee um i'm gonna go in a minute here i need to go get my son up for school does anybody else have a child who like i have to wake my son up at least an hour before we have to leave because he he requires at least 20 or 30 minutes to just like do nothing you know to just lay there drink his chocolate milk. He can't be bothered to like get his clothes on or get moving. He just kind of needs to wake up slow. 
so I have to go and do that soon otherwise we're gonna be behind um I thought I would maybe get a little bit of footage today I actually do have another errand to run I never have errands to run and then the last two days I've had a couple so my daughter needs some like Christmas pajama pants for something at her school so I'm gonna run to five below probably before work starts so I figured, you know, why not try to vlog that? Uh, but that's it. We'll do that today. I'll grab, you know, I'll have a little bit more footage for you guys. So hopefully you're not like bored to tears <laughs> with this vlog. Uh, I painted my nails. My I had press-ons on yesterday, but they like all popped off when I was packing the stuff at my office. So I just painted them. Um, I know you don't give a shit, but... All right, let me get these two kids to school and I will see you when I see you. Okay, sitting down with my breakfast. Again, just got home from running the kids. I am trying these spinach wraps that I just bought and look how fragile they are. It's not gonna hold anything in there, but still gonna be delicious. I need to eat this yogurt before it goes bad. This Too Good brand is so good. Only two grams of sugar in the whole thing, some fresh fruit. Another cup of coffee. I'm gonna get this eaten uh, and then I will probably throw a little bit of makeup on. I'm kind of in the mood to wear some today and then we will head to Five Below. Let's go to Five Below. Uh, like I said, my daughter has, it's the week before finals and they're doing this thing tomorrow called Coco and Cram where they're going to have hot chocolate for the girls. Uh, she goes to like an all girls high school. Um, and yeah, Cram for finals. So they get to wear pajamas, they get to wear like Christmas pajamas. And the ones that I bought her last year don't fit anymore. So um, I am just gonna go see what Five Below has for the cheap cheap. Um, I might look at like some other stocking stuff. I kinda just wanna get some more like little unique candies or something for the kids. below let's do a quick old-fashioned car haul okay I'll show you what I got uh, this I don't really know why I got this you guys this is like a 257 piece craft set it's got like googly eyes pipe cleaners sequins all kinds of stuff actually my son has like a project that he has to do this weekend he has to decorate um, a gingerbread man and he has to use all kinds of different materials and stuff. So whatever, this was cheap. I got that. I also got, sorry, let me get my, I got several coloring books for my son. I'm gonna, I was thinking these could be stocking stuffers, but these are not gonna fit in his stocking. So I'll just set him out from Santa. But they just had a bunch of cheap coloring books. He's obsessed with SpongeBob. Um, and then the rest are just Christmas books, Gingerbread Man, Rudolph, and then just this little Christmas characters. They're coloring and activity books. Um, my 15 year old daughter loves Hello Kitty and they had this cute little bow pen. 
<laughs> I don't know if she'll actually use it, but I thought it would be a cute little stocking stuffer. These are the pajama pants that I got my daughter. Um, I They're really not like Christmas, I guess, but I sent her a video and that's what she wanted. Sounds like it was all just kind of a ploy to get some new pajama pants if you ask me, but I fell for it. And then the last few things I got were more stocking stuff. I got um, my 12 year old son these Jolly Rancher shoes to throw in his stocking. I got my 14 year old these mini Starbursts. Those are like her favorites. My youngest son is obsessed with Skittles. And then our oldest likes Swedish Fish. So just more candy for stockings. This was a total impulse buy. This is throwing tinsel. It was only a dollar. But I kind of want, I don't know. I've just kind of been looking at my tree and I want something a little bit more like sparkly on there. Something to like catch the light a little bit. Whatever. So I'm gonna go home and Put that on the tree all right you guys we me i'm gonna close i'm gonna wrap up the vlog we're back home we're posted on the couch i am gonna chill and watch something i just want to relax for like the last hour hour and a half before i start work and the new sex in the city is out okay <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch that or there's new episodes, there should be new episodes of The Sex Lives of College Girls, which is hilarious. It's hilarious, you guys. Definitely watch it. It's by Mindy Kaling. I love Mindy Kaling, but it's it's just genius. It's so funny. So you know what? I actually might watch both of those things. I am going to finish the yogurt that I had for breakfast because I did not finish that. And yeah, get on with my day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this might be the first and last vlog I ever do. You know, just kind of a, a glimpse into my ever so mundane life, you know, but I like it like that. So give me a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, stick around for some more. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other, beauties.